What is going on, guys? It's your boy, the one, the only, the real Shadow Void. Um, today I bring forth the actual proof that I not only own the Sire, not the Sire's brand name, well, yeah, I own that too, but I'm here to prove that I own 100% am owner and sole owner of the Shadow Blade name. <clears throat> now, let's get to work, shall we? Yo, Spaz, what's good, homie? You better not be porn bombing shit, nigga. If you are, I'm kicking your ass. Now, let's take a look, shall we, at what BMI is and how I own thy name through this. Now, first, let's watch this little video on what BMI is. <clears throat> Turn up so y'all can hear it. Welcome to BMI's registration tutorial. In this video, we'll look at the basic process for registering works online at BMI.com. Step one, head to BMI.com and log into your online services. Account. Now, let's go. What is BMI? After logging into BMI's online services, you will select works registration. Let's go here. <clears throat> What is BMI music? Let's see. I'm going to walk you through the entire form as I register. My Not what I'm looking for. Are you an independent artist looking to connect with your biggest fans and make more money? No? Then skip now. Yes? Then listen up, because Loom offers these tools and more. With Loom, it's easy for an artist to connect with their fans. You don't have to pay thousands of dollars. To Did you know that years ago, jazz, blues, country, Latin, R&B were routinely shunned from being played on the radio due to their only being one PR in America, and they were turning away musicians from this genre? You want to know what PRO was turning away musicians and the true differences between BMI and ASCAP from someone who actually worked at BMI, then keep on watching. Now, I am Tania Coates. I formerly worked for one of the biggest companies in the music business, BMI. I have helped thousands of musicians with their royalties from the smallest of the smallest making pennies and dollars to the biggest of the biggest making millions. So I truly know the ins and outs of the royalty game. And with my series, Music Money Mondays, I want to help you to step up your royalty game. So, for the best music business advice from someone who actually worked in the industry, subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell notification so you can be notified when I post a new video every Music Money Monday. You don't want to miss it. Nope. Now, in today's video, I am going to be telling you the benefits and differences between BMI and ASCAP, some that no one else will tell you. I will also be giving you a little bit of history of the companies, and if you stay tuned till the end of the video, you will be getting my free download sheet that lets you know what to do if you are unhappy with your PRO. Mm -hmm. So let's get into it. Now, if you are a music maker, a songwriter, a producer, you must be signed up to a PRO if you want to be able to earn royalties for your music. Now, PROs are just performing rights organizations who are the only people who are able to collect the royalties for you when your music is played on TV, radio, at a concert, at a restaurant, on YouTube, on Spotify, and Pandora, they are the only people who can get your royalties for you. Now, in America, the two biggest and top PROs are ASCAP and BMI, but they are actually the biggest in the world. So it doesn't matter where you're from, any country in the world, you can join BMI or ASCAP. 
Now, the question is, which one should you join? Or if you are already a member of a PRO, is that one truly the best one for you? Well, I'm about to give you the benefits and the differences. Okay, so one of the biggest differences with BMI and ASCAP is with the sign-up fee. So when you sign up to join with ASCAP, they're going to charge you a $50 fee to sign up as a writer, or they're going to charge you a $50 fee to sign up as a publisher. Now with BMI, they're going to charge you nothing, $0 to join as a writer, and if you want to join as a publisher, then they're going to charge you $150 to $250. $150 is if your publishing company is individually owned, and $250 is if your company is owned by a partnership, LLC, corporation. Now, you do not have to have a publishing company. You can sign up just as a writer and still be able to collect your publishing share through the writer account. So Now, now that we have that. Here we go. Does BMI copyright your music? Your composition is copyrighted automatically when the work is created, which the law defines being fixed in a copyright in a copy or recording for the first time. The register of your copyright is recommended but not required. Granted, they do not copyright it for you, but there is a loop right here. Your composition is copyrighted automatically when the work is created. Now, let's go back to BMI. Works registration. If it'll load up. That one's already registered. We're good with that. Ah, here we go. Works catalog. Here's all my catalogs of the names that I fucking own. Cyrax. Cyrax Official. Official Cyrax. Shadowblade. War Studios. And War Studios LLC, which is my personal fucking art studio. Now, let's go here to Shadowblade. Work title. Shadow Blade, BMI work number. <clears throat> Let's see, date registered, eight thirteen or no, yeah, eight thirteen two thousand twenty. Songwriter slash composer, myself, publisher, manuscript. So yeah, try again, skull bitch. Try again, skull kid. Here's the thing, skull kid. What you don't realize is when you create the work, your shit is automatically copywritten. That is an automatic deal, my dude. Which means one thing. You lose, bitch, because the minute that I created the Shadowblade name and started writing music under that name, that name automatically falls under my fucking name. So yeah, try again, bitch. It ain't about whether you buy it or not. It's about the ownership, bitch. And I am the one true soul owner, fuck boy. Yo, it's fast. Put in the comments if that's you, dog. Yo. Yeah, I don't trust that. 
So try again, Skullkid. And just like with publishing, dude, one thing they don't tell you with publishing a book, the minute that you start writing the book, your shit's automatically published under your name. You automatically own that shit. The same with writing music. So the minute that I started writing music under my original Shadowblade name, guess what? All of that shit that I wrote and recorded under my Shadowblade name or all of my alternative names, guess what? I own every single one of them. I own the name. I own the rights to it, motherfucker. So try again, bitch boy. You want a name? Get your own fucking name and keep mine out your motherfucking mouth. You little fucking bitch.